Greetings, welcome to this edition of Spectrum of the Arts. Have you heard of the Memory Project? It's a charitable nonprofit organization that includes art teachers, their students, and other artists that create portraits for children around the world who are facing daily challenges, such as violence, war, poverty, neglect, and the loss of parents. The Memory Project was embraced by then St. Petersburg High School teacher Roxanne McGlashan in 2006. She carried her enthusiasm for the program with her when she moved to the Pinellas County Center for the Arts at Gibbs High School. The more buy-in with the subject matter, you know, usually the stronger the work, um, but they were really motivated to go online and read about Syria and read about what's going on. And uh, yeah, they do, and at first, you know, yeah, they just kind of picked a photo, oh, this is cute, you know, picked a photograph. But yeah, as time went on, um, you know, you, you do develop more of a bond. Get like an emotional kind of attachment to them. It's like it's your kid that you're personally drawing. So when we watched the video, we were like, oh, there they are and everything. And it was really special getting to see them. At first, I was like, oh, okay, we're going to um, do portraits of these kids in Syria. I think that's really special. Um, but it wasn't until I started doing it and really um, studying the, the girl I was drawing, and I really like felt like an attachment to her as we were drawing it. I didn't want to focus on like any of the negative stuff. I just wanted to make sure it was extra like happy sort of to, you know, because in a lot of ways I think art is a way to bring like light and happiness into people's lives. So I tried to focus on that. My motivation is I really want more um, art teachers and even you know, social studies teachers. I mean, you can do things with computer graphics. Doesn't have to be, you know, drawn completely by hand. You know, there are other things that you can do, but it's, uh, I just believe it is, it is good. And, you know, we definitely need more, more of that. And I know it's impacting these students. To make it special, we wanted to do the prints, and it, it's really great to be able to give it a lot of like color and character and stuff. And then also, um, you know, we put a lot more thought into like what colors we're going to use and how we want it to look. Like if we had a little girl, try to make it like extra pretty and special, make them feel extra pretty. They were so touched um, to see, you know, where these kids live, and then to see the excitement. You know, you would never know that these kids are growing up, you know, as they are very, very different from how we are growing up. You cannot imagine how much the kids are happy. You have to be here just to see uh, how much uh, this brought the joy to them. I just, I felt really, really happy with them and it was actually really inspirational and I, and I want I, I want to be able to do more things for them. Like I, I like I like making them happy. Like I like seeing them happy. 